Hey everyone, this is Parker from Parker Plays 95. Thanks for watching this walkthrough of Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune. Whether you just want to play through the story or you want 100% the game, this walkthrough will help you achieve your goals. Trophies are included. There's one treasure in Chapter 20. And it's literally right behind us, so I'm not gonna... You know, do one where you show the treasures first and then we play the game. It's just... It's right behind us. Right by this rock. So we're just gonna go from here. Ah, uh, continue with the walkthrough because it's the first. It's the first freaking treasure. It's the only one. So we get moving, and I hate with a fight that's about to happen. I hate it. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. With a passion. Black Lady hate it where I clap my hands because I hate it so much. Oh, it's only slightly racist. Alright, so kinda what happens is this the one time where it's actually an overwhelming circumstance is the one time we can go fuck ourselves. So what you're gonna wanna do, and it's very important that you that you do it in this order. Um, well not really that important, but you'll die a lot. Either way. You wanna kill those first two guys. Dragon Sniper that dude, fast as you can. Um, pick up the sass again. Kill these three motherfuckers. Any way you can. Just bombs, or with the sass, or with the Dragon Sniper even. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure those three dudes die. Um, there's a fourth dude that also comes out. Kill him as well. <laughs> he just usually, he doesn't come from the back here. Like these dudes are. Then, and like I, like I said, I died a lot, so it took a lot of practice, for the most part. I took a lot of repeating, and that's why I hate it because I got so frustrated, constantly repeating it. But this seems to be this this last time I tried seems to be the most effective way. Um, you get those what six enemies, I think, the two in the ground, seven. Two on the ground, one in the balcony, and then the four that came. And, you know, there's a fifth or sixth dude that kind of comes out. So, about about seven or eight enemies come out. And once you get them all killed, you want to go by Sully. Um, and if you, even if you don't, there's... Well, you, you want to go by Sully because then there's a checkpoint. There's, yeah, oh, see, the, there was second waves coming. You want to get over here... And there's a checkpoint once you get to this next wave of enemies. Um, because if you die, it's okay. Because they respawn you right here. And I do, I do die. Make sure you don't miss. Oh, up, up. oh geez, Rick. I hate this. I hate rewatching it. I hate. Kind of, ugh, doing it, I hated all of it. You want to take out the M79 guy? I'm sorry. You want to take out the sniper dude up in the sky and try not to run out of um, those bullets, the the sniper rifle bullets. And you want to watch behind you because dudes will just come around from behind you, and that's that's when I die. So if you do die, it's okay because you'll just restart from that last wave instead of way back at the beginning. So sniper rifle, the, the shoot the M79 guy and shoot the, the sniper in the sky. And then a couple waves of enemies will come from where you came from. And you can take them out any way you want. I find the sniper rifle is the best way because it's funny. Because fuck them. <laughs> Hear the rage in my voice. I don't like this fight. You get those first three dudes dead, and then you watch out behind you. I was getting to the point here where I was just like, die, just freaking die, and I'm just shooting rapidly, and I don't care if I hit them. Um, did I get two bullets back? Ah, oh, cool, well... I guess the next wave, there's just the three up there, and then three at the bottom, so there's only six. 
So, I mean, there you go. So just go around back, get some bullets, get some ammo, and then head to the church where there's another fight that also just freaking sucks. Oh, jeez. Okay, so you can tell I'm a big fan of this chapter. I just love it. Totally love it. I hate it. I freaking hate it. All right, so you go up into the church, and then you're going to open open the door. It's actually not the worst chapter. The last chapter. Oh, my God, was I so pissed off. But um, I, I, didn't even, I didn't even count how many times I died because there were just too many. So you want to get to here. You want to get the dragon sniper. Shoot him. Come around. Shoot these two snipers up here. And then you want to shoot any other dudes. Oh, there's a, there's a fourth sniper. You want to shoot it. <laughs> he killed his friend. You want to shoot uh, the fourth sniper and the M79 guy. Uh, one of the M79 guys. And then try and kill the second one, if, if they're nearby, if it's convenient. Um, those are going to be the most dangerous enemies here. And two more snipers are going to show up, and it's fine. Just what you can do um, after you kill the first four snipers, the M79 guys. Maybe that guy that wandered in. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out your pistol or the... I, f I feel like pistol's better if you don't have a dragon sniper. And just start shooting these dudes. And then when the next wave of enemy comes, come up here to this one, get the dragon sniper. Or don't. I'm a liar. Just get the M M4. And then run back to the outside here. And there's not really a place to hide, but they're all going to come for Sully. For some reason, some reason in their AI, they're just going to all bull rush Sully. And that's good, because I don't believe Sully can die. So from outside here, you're going to wait till they come into your field of vision, this very limited field of vision, and you're going to just destroy them while they're focused on, on Sully. And it's, you know... You can do this right off the bat if you want, because I don't think Sully can die, and so it's not a big deal. And then you can come back in, take out all the dudes, all the snipers and stuff. But I would recommend taking out the M79 guys before coming out here, because if they come out here and shoot you, shoot at you once, you, you you're screwed, basically. So if there's dudes you're gonna want to take out, it's the M79 guys. The only other issue with coming out here is that you're going to run out of ammo. And as long as you can get these dudes dead, it's not a big deal. I got lucky and I killed them all with one bullet left. Oh, man. But every now and again... Oh, I didn't kill them all. There's one left. But if, if you can, you want to try and run in and grab some ammo. I was I was so mad when he shot me. I was like, no, I'm right there. I'm not going to die. No. But, but it was okay. It was fine. That, for me, there's one dude left. And you can take him out a number of ways with when there's just one guy left. Like, who cares? Couldn't decide what gun I wanted, apparently. Nice. Guess I just stuck with the M4. Whatever. So, um, you're actually gonna wanna move away from here, follow Sully to the other side by the altar, because uh, enemies are gonna come from this point now. And it was really nice of those enemies to wait for me because, well, I think they're triggered enemies. They're not just, you know. Yeah, it takes me a while to go over there. I actually don't think I do. I think I die, and it spawns me over there, which is an okay way to do it. Because that way, you get, you know, you, just, you don't have to walk. 
I was really confused, in case you couldn't tell, on where the enemies were. But if you can do that, spawn them, and then get them while they're close, that's fine too. You know, just be careful. I died. I died a couple times. So, um... Make sure you keep the M4. Don't switch to the Dragon Sniper. And then as they get close to you, you're going to want to try and take them out. I like hiding right here because the Sniper Dude can't get you. Oh, the shotgunners piss me off. Be careful. Uh, it's happened to me a couple times when, if you're looking to your left here, a dude will come up to your right and start shooting at you, and you want to be careful that that doesn't happen. Because that sucks. And then... I was out of ammo. That's not going to help me. If you run out of ammo and all of the ground dudes are dead, good. Uh, if they're not... You can either let them kill you. Oh my god, Drake. I was, I was so mad at this too because he's rolling and all I wanted was to get to that body and get the gun. But if they're still if they're still the three do guys, you can let them kill you or you can... Um... See, was it that hard, Drake? Jeez. You can, you can let them kill you or you can just try and beat, like, punch them and then go kill the... Son of a bitch, go kill this guy. Uh, pressing circle actually is helpful because he won't be able to get a clear shot on you for some reason. There you go, after you kill the four dudes, get some ammo and then go to the altar. Um, I think after... Well, actually, you don't have to worry about ammo because you're going to lose it. So... Um, after you move the altar, I'm pretty sure it's the next chapter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong. Nope, I'm right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.